things that you can do on Click eCourse one of the advanced things or you know it's an automated thing so it's not really Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about Click eCourse's advanced course hosting features Click eCourse is a platform to host your own courses and we're going to talk about the advanced features because you know basic it's a basic um well it's not a basic it's got a it's got lots of features and it can be overwhelming that's kind of the point of going through the advanced stuff so that you can get a feel for uh, everything you can do with it all right so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so as part of Course Income Secrets obviously you need to have a course you need to have the place to host your course and Clicky Course is a platform that lets you do that now it, it's a simple platform in the sense that you can create a course and put videos on there and that's it that's you can do that just like that or you can use the advanced features there's a lot of features on the platform and it can be overwhelming when you first get in there you're like okay how do I do this uh, so let's go and uh, show you what I'm talking about all right so let's go right to it I'm going to share my screen right here oh actually you know what I'm totally forgetting if you're listening to the audio you should go check out the video and the blog post at cis408.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen which I'm just about to do now all right so let's get right to it let us share my screen right here oops I'm over here all right so on Click eCourse you're going to see there's a, a news feed for example that's one of the things that you can do on Click eCourse one of the advanced things or you know it's an automated thing so it's not really advanced but it's kind of um, one of the things that differentiates it from any other course hosting platform it lets you do it lets you see the new courses that are being hosted the new lessons that are being added let's you see uh, ratings that people have put in courses uh, and things like that it's gonna it shows a feed kind of like Facebook that's one of the things it lets you do uh, or does for you I should say uh, but uh, yeah let's get to the advanced stuff if I go to courses and I look at what's there this is not necessarily what I mean by advanced but I mean over here you can see that you can uh, choose the categories you can actually sort differently um, and you can choose a different view as well right you can go to the image only view you can go to the image with uh, information view <clears throat> and then you can go to the details view uh, which uh, has more you know a list a listing I guess I should say default is this so that's just kind of the views of the courses that people whenever anybody visits the site that's kind of what they can do they can look at this list uh, different ways they want to look at it right they also search for things by just putting say for example Facebook right you can do Facebook like this shows you the Facebook courses that are there yeah we can also uh, just show categories let's say I just want to look at audience growth or if I want to look at digital marketing right it shows the digital marketing courses or all categories right and you can ask for pricing I want to see the pricing of these just click the little uh, price thing and it shows the pricing of the courses so that's kind of navigation okay but you as a course creator you want to create a course so how do you do that you first have to get an account you click on the register and oh sorry registration do you need an invite sorry you need an invite once you have an invite you can register an account just let me know if you want an invite I'll send you one but then you can log in and once you have your account or once you're registered obviously the same thing you'll have to uh, enter a username or email or you just use the Facebook uh, when you click on this it'll pop up this Facebook thing which will ask you to approve and then you're in right so now that you're in you can create a course by just clicking the the plus button right here and you click select the course right there right and that's that's the simple stuff but what's the advanced thing as you can see there's a ton of things up here uh, SEO header code categories cover image price commission that downloadable embedded player things like that so you can actually have a course where you just create 
uh, videos in the course um and let them let people just um go one video to the next right or you can make it more complicated if you want there's um one of the things is you'll find that if you are if you have a course let's go back to the courses if I look at the courses I have these are <clears throat> if I go to my courses you click on your uh, profile picture up here and you go to courses here that's going to give you the list of courses that either you own or that you created so if I go to courses here it shows me the courses that I've actually created right and just list if I just scroll down you see the different courses but the thing is that if I go to this course it's just like you know a testimonial course here that uh, people have uh, recorded for me videos of their testimony anyways whatever you know what testimonials are right but the point is that if you look at this url up here you can see it says Jean-Serge Gagnon testimonials now how does that work so that's the SEO one of the things about online courses is that you're going to want to share this course you're going to want to have people view it you're going to want to be able to maybe do ads for it or things like that so the url is basically going to be the name of the course right so whatever your course are, if I look at any of the courses uh any of these like this is for example let's say TikTok followers in 10 days right if I go to this course you see that the link is 10k TikTok followers in 10 days right so that is the one of the SEO features of the courses right excuse me so um that's what they call a slug so it's not something you have to do except that you need to choose the title of your course based on what the course is about which is kind of obvious but the thing you have to um keep in mind is that whatever words you put here end up being in the slug of your course so if you want your SEO slug to have a certain word well you need to just put it inside of the title right we made it that simple so that you don't have we don't have to worry about that we could maybe maybe a feature if people ask for it maybe we could add uh, a separate slug so you could actually change the slug even if the title is a certain thing maybe you don't want uh 10 days here maybe you want t uh 10 the number 10 or the letter is t e n right maybe you want 10 instead of the number so then maybe you'd want a slug that has 10 you could change the title which would make that uh change uh but the thing that's uh that's interesting is that the the system knows that this is course 169 so even if you change the title it doesn't matter if somebody could access this with any time any any string you wanted here you could actually change that whenever you're sharing it to Facebook or ads or anything like that you can actually change that to something else as long as you have 169 right here that's going to take them to this course it doesn't matter what words you put here you can actually put whatever you wanted make it a url that's even more uh you know seo friendly if you want that's that's an option you can do that okay so that's one of the other one of the advanced features the other advanced features I've got a list right here I actually put together a list here I'm going to put it on the side because it's really for me so the SEO features that's one of the SEO features another SEO feature so if I go to edit this course uh, by the way you can edit any of the courses that you create by clicking edit right underneath the image <coughs> it'll take me straight back to the course there's the SEO hash right here search and then keywords I can say TikTok followers I can say grow your TikTok TikTok oops TikTok fans um get 1000 TikTok followers in 10 days right so things like that I can actually <coughs> or 10,000 sorry not that. 10,000 TikTok so so this is search engine keywords you can put as many keywords as you want in this list you can either separate them by commas I could say TikTok followers TikTok fans right that's fine the comma is the separator or the new line right so if you have multiple entries that you want to put in your uh, search engine keywords that's one of the things you got to remember on on uh in search engines they want keywords now this if I save it right I'll just say done 
and then if I open this link in an incognito window I'll just show you what it kind of looks like a uh, new incognito window that right here <clears throat> okay so as a visitor that is not the owner of the course you see this right and if I do a right click to see the source view page source you'll see right here that in the SEO keywords 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 where is it uh, I'm not I don't remember where that is where is it uh, Q oh there it is right here so meta keywords right here right these are the keywords the SEO engine will use now they're right here see how we put TikTok followers TikTok fans grow your TikTok fans get one done whatever I put in there as keywords they're showing up here in the keywords <coughs> a meta whatever it's called a meta for uh for SEO search so that's one of the things so for search engines you got those two things the title is in the slug right up here right and the keywords you can put in the SEO just by going to edit and going to SEO all right so that's one of the advanced features the next one is the pricing <clears throat> so with the course when you create the course if I go on edit course right here if I go to pricing uh where is it price commission <clears throat> I can choose a price right here that's different than the price I actually want to sell it at so that people see I guess this can be your value right whenever we're talking about <clears throat> selling things online you often have a value to it and then whatever price you're selling in that right so that can either be in, done based on uh you could have the price right here <coughs> and you could just say to people this is worth you know ten thousand or whatever but this is saying a thousand dollars right here that's the price that you can show so if I say uh, well actually let's go back well, let's, you know, let's go back here I'm going to go back to this uh this page in an incognito I'm going to show you what I'm talking about I should have left it open I guess right so over here I have oops there we go over here I have the the course right and it says right here that it's a thousand dollars right but it's 497 right now until 2022 522 at midnight right so how did I do that how do I do it like do I have to edit this every single every time I want to change like this is until the 20th of May which is right now as I'm recording is just you know the end of this week right <clears throat> which is when you're going to see this video anyways or you can watch it later but uh but if you anyway, <laughs> whatever the point is that this date will actually change every week that's one of the advanced deals feature of the uh the, the platform right so if I go here let's just put this up as well so we can see the whole thing so if I go down here you can see manage deals and coupons so when you click on that so after you set the price to the course to your you know your value if you will then you can actually set a current price you can set a price I can whoops I can add a new I can add a new one right let's say I say um 397 okay instead of 497 I can set this to end uh 2022 say at the end of the month all right uh and the normal is use end date so that just means that now I'm creating a specific deal for this month of 397 or even if I say 125 whatever I want right 124 let's say 124 for this month only this month now if you're seeing this and you want to get 10,000 followers on TikTok in 10 days this is a course that you should definitely get and it's going to be 124 if you're watching this before the end of the month of May 2020 so if I say submit now it's in the list I can close this and I can go to this uh well, let's close this here <laughs> I can go to the other page where is it right here and if I reload this now you're going to see that it says 124 until the end of the month right the 29th to 23 that's I must have it must be a time zone thing but anyways that's fine so it'll be <laughs> 124 right now that's a really huge deal but it's a single deal um 
price right it's a single deal price which means that you know after this date is over that deal is just going to disappear and if you want to have another deal you got to create again so you got to constantly be managing imagine if you have 10 20 30 50 courses that would be a pain in the butt to have to manage that all the time although it, you know it could be acceptable depending on your marketing but the advanced deals so well before we talk about advanced deals let's talk about coupons so coupons is down the bottom here there's no coupons in this course but the coupon is just you give it a name so coupon let's just say coupon 25 let's say you're watching this and you you see this coupon here this is going to be a coupon for 25 dollars for this course totally ridiculous I'm going to give it five and it's going to end again at the same date 2022 05 29 same uh, same thing as this one is it the 20 oh I put the 30th let's put the 30th there too <laughs> so if you can use this coupon 25 and you're one of the first five to do it you can actually get this course for 25 bucks so I'm going to just so submit right here obviously nobody knows what this coupon is right nobody knows it's it's not visible anywhere if I go here and I say apply a coupon I can say coupon 25 apply and now you're going to see it's going to show up as 25 dollars right now I can actually buy this for 25 dollars right now if I wanted to um, because I know the coupon right so that's what the coupons are and like I said if you're watching this before the end of the month and you actually want to get 10,000 followers in 10 days this is actually a course from um, Mark Lalonde he actually is a, a marketer that understands how to figure out these marketing strategies and he creates these amazing courses look at that an, an hour 12 minutes 24 minutes an hour eight minutes 21 so he this he allows allowed me to resell this course so that's one of the courses I have on the I can sell it for whatever price I want well obviously I want to sell it for 497 but if you're watching this you can actually get it for 25 if you use that coupon all right so next thing is the advanced the advanced deals the cool thing about the deals is you can actually have a deal here let's say 99 well let's not make it 99 let's make it 159 okay 159 it's going to start on June 1st let's make it June 1st because this will be after the end of this month and I'm going to make it end on let's well, actually let's not make it end it'll be forever and then basically over here under the expire type you can choose now this is a little complicated to explain <coughs> and you so you can play around with it but basically what this means is it's going to repeat you can make it repeat every day so that means that in the when I look at the when I, let's remove the coupon here when I look at the price here it says that oh I still have the coupon here. I'm gonna have to log out it remembers I'm gonna have to close this and reopen it incognito there we go oh look at that I got the two coupons that's why oh I guess that's kind of a bug in there okay let's close that like this all right so it says right here that it's until the 29th of May so what these what this midnight x days it means it'll say that it's until today it'll say until today at midnight right instead of saying until you know whenever date you decide to put the end date if you don't put an end date and and well you could put an end date too that's a separate thing but that will mean that this daily thing will no longer show up after a certain date but until then it'll show ending every day as if you know you're deal is just this today right so somebody goes to the site they might see oh my god this is over tonight or whatever right so that's kind of what that's for then you can have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday that means that if I were to, to put it on today and today was like say Wednesday then it would say that price is until next Monday right whatever the next Monday is and so you choose which day this ends or shows as it ending and then the day after that it resets again to the next week right so that allows you to have a deal that is kind of showing as if it's expiring but it's not um instead of you having to go back in every single time to do it and then the week and the month and the year is basically if I put week it'll be midnight and x number of weeks 
month in x number of months year in x number of years right expire count is the x right here so if I want to say because you can actually say not this Monday but next Monday so you can say Monday in two in two weeks instead of one week or Monday in three weeks right so you can actually set it that way too or or days you can say in three days from today right that's kind of what that's for that's what the expire so that's what these advanced things are I can say uh let's say I'm gonna say uh Wednesday expire count two so if I do that and I go back to the this page here because it was 124 that price is what price? oh 159 it won't show that one because that's a better um I should have made this a lower price because it won't show right now but this see how it says Wednesday times two that kind of means that uh Wednesday is going to be a double thing sorry I'm just moving this around on the screen here all right okay so that's what the advanced coupons are that you can do all this now if you have any questions obviously you can reach out uh we can do a better session but there's also if I go to more here under training vault there's some other training in here that will help you to understand some of these uh some of these things right so there's <clears throat> click the arrow on platform review using sites uh, menus courses uh, da, 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 setting up your course so there's lots of different trainings in here I don't know what happened here in case we have a messed up uh, thumbnail I can actually edit this well actually I don't know I don't know why this is oh I know why because I never this is actually not a real I don't think it's oh, I'll have to look anyways whatever the training vault is lists the different trainings you can get um which is kind of like this video you're watching right now but this is not going to be a training vault video it's going to be click equals video right all right so now <coughs> whoops sorry over here where's this right there okay so there we go okay um next thing is header code uh inside the course if I close this again I'm going to go back to the courses and this TikTok course which is up here this TikTok course <clears throat> if I edit this course now if it's my course right obviously you have a course if you have a course you're going to be able to edit the course and up here you can see header code now inside a header code you can put whatever you want so normally this is for things like uh, Google Analytics or uh, tracking your Facebook pixel or things like that so you can put it in the header code the body code or the footer code so that allows you to put because some of these uh these these pixels they want it in the body or they want it in the header or they want it in the footer right depending on what they are the other thing is conversio bot id which is a uh which is the little uh robot that shows up if I show you down here whoops it's closed now if I go back to say I open up this in down the bottom here <laughs> you see this little little face down here that is a chat bot so when you open it it opens up this conversation and you can set it up to do whatever you want and all you got to do is you got to have a conversion bot id you can find out more about it by just clicking on the powered by down the bottom here to find out it's really cheap uh, bot technology for websites but you can actually set it up on your own course so that it answers questions that your target market that your people that are actually interested in your course will have and you can have two different conversations or conversion conversation robots one is the default which will be there if you don't specify this one but basically what it is is it's a conversation for people that have not bought your course and then the student one is for people who have actually bought your course so you can actually have different answers for people that have a course or people that have not bought it right so that's kind of what that's for so that's that the other thing is affiliate programs so when you look at the pricing of your course under price commission you can choose to give people a commission on your course right so I chose in this course I, I'm giving 90 percent commission so if you if you refer somebody else to buy this course and they buy it through your link then you get 90 percent commission so that means 
well that's ridiculous isn't it right but that's up to you you choose what you want I choose to give 90 percent commission because what I'm looking for is new leads new contacts new people to connect in my world so I'm fine with giving you all the work because all the commission because you're doing all the work finding them right uh so over here you can also choose whether you're going to give commission to anybody or only people who have a plat uh who are paying on the site or just people who bought the course right <clears throat> so that's your choice you do you choose who you give commission to and the way it works is if you go to the course I'm on the course right here let's go to the course uh if you go to the course if anybody goes to the course they can click on the share link right here which is actually another thing I wanted to talk about is, is the social media sharing so any course you can click on this and it'll give you the link to the course with your user id you see how it says jsg right here in your case it'll say whatever your user id is on the site and you can actually share this to Facebook to Twitter to LinkedIn to Pinterest or you can just copy the link and share it to anywhere else that that you know isn't one of these right and paste the link which will be this link uh you can if you click it it tells you that you gotta you know <clears throat> you gotta right click and copy the link right you can't visit it if you visit this link if I go up, open the new incognito you see how it shows JSG up here but now it changes to click eCourse right so then the problem is that if you decide to click it and then you want to copy it from here you'll never get your link you'll get the default link which doesn't have your user there right it has ww instead so you can change that if you want but it's a lot easier to just uh copy this this way by clicking on this button here that'll copy it to your clipboard and then you can go to see new incognito window and I can actually paste it here no just paste you see how it says my name there I can actually send that to people right and then message or whatever I want right oops you probably can't see it I don't think hold on yeah you can't see it hold on let me just show you see down here <laughs> so now it has my user there because I didn't press enter but as soon as I press enter it that JSG goes away and the reason for that is because now now who if somebody logs in to buy it right <laughs> at this price right now I'll get 90 percent of this commission but if if it's you that's that sent your link instead of mine it'll actually know that it's you and it'll keep that so that it gives you the commission for it right so that's kind of how that works and if you're obviously if it's your course somebody else is going to share that link they're going to get the commission if whatever commission you choose to give them right uh so what else under courses as you can see right here it kind of shows that there's zero students in this course but there's 558 impressions 171 views uh, 171 lesson views 11 clicks and you know there's eight videos in it and things like that so these details are not available to other people right it's only to you as the creator of the course and uh if I go to other courses like let's say I go to my LinkedIn course which because this this TikTok one is a recent course I added but if I go to ooh, da, 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 LinkedIn course where's my LinkedIn course? oh this course here right? I'm not even sure if I have any students in this one either I uh, I haven't really paid attention to that because I've been building the platform right so I don't have any students there either yeah <clears throat> let's just get one that I know I have students in it because I kind of promoted it for a while uh, let's see which one is it uh, this one here LinkedIn this course here has people in it uh, you can see it's got 20 students in it now I don't want to click it because then they'll show people's names and things but basically this is this lets you access the students and send them messages right I can actually send a message maybe I can let's move this over do, 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 do I have no yeah, let's just open this in a new incognito window oh not well not this I didn't want to do that this one I want to open this if I click on share I can open this in the new incognito window and as you can see as the as a non-course owner I can't see anything any of those details not even on the side here right and these these are the course course the lessons I can watch this if I want even as a free user if I click on it it shows me the lesson itself and it's actually going to start playing here 
from the sound off shows you this little intro by the way this intro is only there if you're a free site user if you pay for the site access then you don't get this but this basically shows the course if I play this okay so that's kind of the the lesson here the introduction lesson kind of show you what this course is about kind of thing right so I mean that's kind of what you do with any courses right but um this course here is about LinkedIn profile secrets right so it talks about the profile secrets and creating a LinkedIn account the basics things like that and these are the lessons here so I'm not I'm kind of like I'm kind of all over the place I know but I kind of want to talk to you about the navigation options so over here you see that the default view is you have to scroll down to see the other lessons right they're all kind of showing up if you have more than this they would just be more right uh but if you if you want to you can change the navigation and we can go into this course over here whoops no this course right here I want to edit this course I can actually well actually I don't have to edit I can just say view mode there's lessons or modules there's also the um enable menu up here if I enable the menu oops like this now all of a sudden it's going to show me lessons with this kind of like menu right here so if I go back to this over here and I reload this it's not going to look the same anymore now it's going to have these up here and uh and you can even hide these if I want to hide the lessons I can click on this oops did it click my lessons all right so now if I go here and I reload I won't even have the lessons at the bottom these are going to disappear that's it they're gone so now it's only just here I can go to videos and I can choose the video I want to watch and then the information is here and the details is basically the main the main page but I can go to videos over here and I can go to introduction and that plays the introduction video so that's the navigation you can choose to to display this this way or to have them down the bottom like this if I disable the menu <coughs> the menu goes away now and over here it just shows the introduction the information the lessons show down the bottom right so you can choose you can choose to display using the navigation or using the lessons like this if you want people to just be able to like, access them in the one after the other like this or you know whatever order they want right if they own the course they bought it they can access any of these if you choose to have it this way there's other ways there's even more there's more stuff you can do it's totally crazy there's a uh, the how much you can do with this uh, platform um but I can't cover everything in half an hour right so we're already 32 minutes in but that kind of to give you kind of a in the, you know an overview if you will of what you can do in the advanced features of Click Igors hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.